Cup to the Champions League and Gary Colwell says Dynamo Moscow will see a completely different Celtic side to the one which lost 1-0 in Glasgow last week. Tony Roby's men are in Russia ahead of tomorrow night's second leg and the manager says if chances are created, they must be converted. From Moscow, Chris McLaughlin reports. On the road with Celtic in Europe, the fans have come not in their thousands, 300 will attend the game, although not everyone's had to fly in. My name is Denis, uh, I am Celtic fan, I am from Moscow. 2-1 will do us fine. Now you are aware that Celtic um, have never overturned a home defeat in Europe? Well, there's always a first time and hopefully tomorrow night it will be their turn. And the man they have their faith in has his faith in his players. I think we took enough encouragement from the first game to realise that it was um, a game that um, you know, if we'd, we'd taken our chances in the first leg, we could have been coming here, sitting here now with a, with a, a lead. Um, and so, you know, I think there was enough positives from the first game to realise that it, it, it's going to be a tight game. I think they're a very good side, but I think we showed enough last week to suggest that we can give them problems. So attack from Celtic, but how will the Russians line up? Uh, Dinamo will try to score in the first minutes uh, to close the question of, uh, of the winner. So I don't think that they will pay, play in counter-attacks because they will be Kochlov, they will be Gershakov, Kokorin. I think that will be not, not defensive but more attacking. It's a lonely trip here for Celtic. 1-0 down from the first leg, very few fans and the weight of a terrible away European record on their shoulders. But if they can turn it around, it's a huge psychological boost and one step closer to the Champions League group stages. I, I hope uh, that uh, uh, boys... Uh, uh, we'll uh, win tomorrow and uh, we, we will win the league champions!